Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video I'm going to show you how you can convert your WordPress store and move this over to Shopify. Now the first thing that we need to do is actually go ahead and sign up to Shopify if you haven't already and the reason for this is because it's actually a Shopify app that we will be using to import all of the information and data over from the current WordPress website to our new Shopify store. Now I will leave a link to Shopify in the description and with this link, you will be able to try Shopify for free for the first three days. And then you will be able to get your first month for just a dollar. Mine says pound because I'm in the UK. If you are in the US, it will be dollar. You get the idea. So once you have clicked on that link, we just want to go to the email address right here and you can enter in the email address that you would like to sign up with. Once that is entered, we click on start free trial. And now Shopify is going to ask us a few questions about our business. Now, honestly, none of this matters. It doesn't actually make an impact when we sign up to Shopify. So we can just skip all to save some time. We can then choose the country that you are in and click on next. And once we have set all of that up, Shopify is now going to allow us access right here. And we now have a Shopify account. Now this is very important. Before we go in and we get the app that we can use to actually transfer all of this data over, the first thing that we need to do is select a plan. The reason for this is because right now our online store is password protected. If I just load this up, this online store is password protected. And in order to actually change this and remove this, we need to pick a plan. So what we can do is on this screen, we just click on select a plan. And then from here, the only one you ever need is basic. Essentially, you only need to upgrade in order to reduce the card fees, the fees that you get charged every time you make a sale. And if you want to add additional staff accounts. So if you do, like if you need additional staff accounts, maybe you want to go for Shopify or advanced. But for most people, this is going to be basic. In here, we can then enter in the card details. This does not affect the free month for just $1 or anything like that. So we just go in and enter the card information and then right here we can click on subscribe. So just like that, the subscription was successful and I am now signed up to Shopify. So we can click right here on online store and then once again, we just wait for this to load in and where it says your online store is password protected, we just click on remove password. So we now have all of this set up. What we now need to do is we want to go ahead and grab this extension or this app right here that's going to allow us to transfer everything over. So on Shopify, just go to this menu at the top and we are going to look for lit extension. So we just type in lit extension and it's this one right here. So we just click in and this is now going to open up the Shopify app store and take us over to this extension. So we just click right here on install, install the extension and make sure this is integrated with Shopify. So we can click on install again. And once this has been installed, we will now be taken over to lit extension right here. So in the setup area, the first thing that we are going to do is choose essentially what e-commerce platform we are using. Now the most common one by far, the people use with WordPress is going to be WooCommerce. If you have any kind of e-commerce integration on your website, there's a very good chance it's WooCommerce. And if you're not entirely sure, basically just go back to your WordPress dashboard, look down this left-hand side and see the integration you have plugged in here. So for me, this is WooCommerce. So I'm just going to go back over and make sure this is set to WooCommerce. But anything else that you have or see down here, you can select that as well. So we set this to WooCommerce. Then for the source cart URL, this is basically asking for our website URL. So if we just open the site up, we can copy this link at the top, paste this in. And then all we now have to do is enter in our username and password that we use to sign into WordPress. Once we have that entered, 
we click right here on configure your migration. That is then going to take us through to this next area. And this is where we can choose the entities to migrate. So in here, we have things like products. We can transfer all of the products that we have on our store across. We can transfer all reviews, all the categories that we have for the different products. We can transfer across all of our customer data and any current orders. We can transfer across pages, blog posts, and coupons. However, one thing I will say, is with this homepage right here, I wouldn't recommend transferring this across because it either won't do it or it will get really messed up. Essentially, the reason for this is just the layout of these two platforms are too different when we are talking about WordPress and Shopify. So I don't recommend this. Essentially, what we are using Lit Extension for is to transfer everything else across apart from the main store design. And we will actually redesign the main store with Shopify. And it's very, very easy to do. Shopify is actually a much better builder than WordPress. So although it's kind of annoying that we have to redesign the homepage again with Shopify, it is super simple. But essentially, we just choose the entities that we would like to migrate. So we can select all of these right here. We then have additional options. So would we like to clear the current data on the target store before migration? So essentially what this is going to do is if you already have a few things in here on Shopify, it's going to wipe everything on Shopify and then migrate your current store. We also have things like transferring images from the categories and product descriptions. Do we want to preserve order IDs? Essentially, we just want to go ahead and check all of these off. We can then go down to the order status mapping section. All of this is mapped by default. For example, if the order is cancelled, this would be refunded and fulfilled, completed, is paid and fulfilled. You get the idea, we don't need to switch this. From here, we can simply click on confirm. At the bottom, it's going to ask if we would like to skip the demo migration. So the demo migration is essentially what it says. It's just going to give you a demonstration of how this migration would look. But this is really not necessary. So we, if we don't choose to skip this and we click on start right here, it's just going to take us through to this screen where it runs the demo migration. However, I feel like this just wastes time a little bit too much and there's no real point for this. So we can skip the migration and click on start full. In here, it's then going to go ahead and show us everything that we are going to migrate across over to Shopify and then show us how much it is going to cost for this service. So essentially, we just go down and click on start migration right here. And in here, we can go ahead and confirm this charge. So we just basically give it a few minutes right here to fully migrate everything across. You can sit back. You can honestly even close the tab. This is all going to happen on autopilot and they will send you an email notification when the migration is fully complete. And then once this has fully finished, it is about 10 minutes later at this point. Let's now go around into orders right here. And actually orders is of course going to be blank because I have no orders on there. This is just a demo test store, but I did add some products. So if we go to products, my products in here should now be imported. Once again, keep in mind that this is a demo store, which is why there are none in stock and only two items. I just did this to show you the process and how everything gets transferred. The same with collections, we should have cat and dog food right here and perfect. Everything has transferred across. Now, all we need to do is go to the online store right here and actually build out the homepage for our store. As an example, if I go down here and let's say I want to use this theme, we can essentially look through the themes and choose the theme that we would like to try. And once this loads up, we can now go ahead and customize this. So as you can see, we already have the product because we transferred the product over. We can click into these and then you can see the description is all here. This is fully transferred over from the other side. But then with Shopify, we basically go to the home screen. We can swap this out and add an image in. And if you would like a full tutorial on step by step, how to actually go ahead and customize the homepage of your website, I will leave a link to a video that I created in the description. Either way, that is how you can migrate your website from WordPress to Shopify. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.